thanks for tuning in so today's video is all about art and I wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you guys about what's working for us what we are enjoying and hopefully guys some of you mamas that have a hard time uh, guiding or doing art in your homeschool so um, I am also going to take an opportunity to talk about last year's homeschool art curriculum that we used um, so last year for GL I had purchased a, a DVD and I think that this is a great program for moms that especially don't like to do art and need a little guidance. So this is called the Home Art, Home Art Studio. And this is a third grade level. She has all these levels. Um, and she's great. The art teacher is great. The um, art projects are great. The only thing I would say about this that it's great to start it up early in my opinion because it does reference a lot like you know what we learned last uh, year? Do you guys remember what we learned last year? We learned about this and that. First year doing this was last year, so we didn't learn anything that she had in her previous videos because we never done them. But other than that, we get we got all the products that we were able to do perfectly done. And my son did enjoy this. Um, what I did not enjoy is that I was missing out on having that fun art uh, experience with my child because it, it became like I put it on and uh, he would do it but I enjoy art I love art I'm artsy by nature I'm not a book person I'm more art hands-on kind of girl it's not my kind of style of teaching so I figured this would be great to um, show you guys for you mamas out there that need someone else to teach art because you're just not artsy and you just don't like art this is a great program especially if your child is between first second grade that they can start those early um, uh, grades levels that she does okay so we also use uh, the drawer right now and I have talked about this in my channel this is a great curriculum because it's so cute it's it's uh, it has like 10 I don't even know how many books to be honest this is book number three <laughs> I have I think up to seven or eight so I think there's more books and we have used book one and two already jail is on to his third uh, book and we just love it because it's multi-purpose okay so we have drawing which happens in the book and we also have writing and then they also have a mini story to go with it so you have a theme that goes with the first few uh, lessons let me just show you if I'm sometimes I start talking and I don't make sense <laughs> so let me let me retract so we're doing Native Americans in this first book in this first uh, lesson all right and it has about I don't know maybe I'll say 10 that have to do with uh, Native Americans. And then it moves on to, and my kids are being loud, so sorry. I've been dying to do this video for you guys, so I'm just gonna film and keep talking. Um, and then it goes to North America. Actually, the themes are up here. <laughs> so we have Native Americans, North America, and the Pilgrims, and that's book number three. So it has themes that it goes with, and it has short stories and lessons. Very short, just basically a question and then the answer that's pretty much what it is so the question is at the bottom the child will, you give them a minute to answer and then you discuss the answer with them and you really could take it as far as you want but the drawings are super cute super simple and it starts even more simple than this one again this is book number three but this is such a great curriculum I really love it and I love that it's all themes love this curriculum what we are using this year which I am loving and I'm hoping that I take you through everything I'm doing here it's a curriculum that I bought from Teachers Pay Teachers. So, so far we are on to our lesson number three. So I'm gonna show you the first two lessons and I'm just kind of putting them in a folder right now. Um, so the first lesson was a cave drawings and it was so, so much fun. So this is called um, Art History and it has uh, lessons on different artists and mosaic art, it has which is Roman art, we have ancient history art, we have Renaissance, just different lessons that it's gonna cover. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can check it out. So we did the cave drawings already and we thoroughly enjoyed it. And my favorite part about this, which is what I think that you will love it too, as a mama, is that it's uh, prep free. So it comes with a teacher script. I love that it comes with a teacher script. I just read this, there's questions that I, I have the kids engage in and um, and it tells me everything I have to say. So I love the teacher script. It's so helpful. I just don't have to do much. There are printables that it comes with. It has reflect and review printables. And it has 
uh, a little comic thing too as well there that I have not used yet but I've done the reflect and review and then it has the art project and for the most part it has more than one art project which I love um, especially now um, this past um, few weeks we did ancient history with art and we did about three projects all three projects that they had we did so it was very helpful because we're still learning ancient history with our history curriculum so um, it tells you how to do it it tells you all the materials you need so at the beginning of the curriculum you have a list of materials that you could just uh, go through and see what you need to buy um, and purchase everything and have it on hand so that you don't have to stop a beat when you're starting this curriculum so I love it I love this this is backwards this page <laughs> I love this so much I was trying to show you um, for this one if I printed out number three I don't think I printed out uh, the um, project two because we didn't do it but we did do it for ancient history and this was the ancient history eight ancient history um, for Egyptian art and we did a few projects for this we did uh, hieroglyphics their name tags we did uh, painting, um, and then we also did um, two paintings. We did two paintings, two coloring pages, and it was just lovely. And then this one too. Uh, this is the printer that it comes, and they get to draw in the style of the Egyptians um, and talk about why they chose to do this type of art. Um, so it was so much fun, and like I said, it comes with a teacher's script. Now, I did try to contact this um, creator at Teacher teachers pay teachers about twice already I have not heard from her and I'm bummed out because I really wanted to offer you guys something that are watching nonetheless please go check it out I totally recommend that it. it's so good because like I said is less prep on your part the teacher scripts are awesome and it comes with multiple projects and then all their uh, like uh, printouts at the end of the curriculum that you can do with younger children so I love it I love it the one that we're doing that we just did now is the mosaic art so we are on to roman art so it was so nice we have been filling up our art string from ikea i forgot the name of it we have been filling up downstairs to doing all these fun art with this curriculum so i totally recommend it and i'm enjoying it so much because like i said i'm an artsy mama so for me now it feels like wow i'm feeling like i'm part of it with my children and we're actually doing this together and we're learning together it's so much fun you can take any direction you want with art you could just do drawing you could do projects There's so many styles of art um last year we also did for jonah it's um a website called kinderart.com i totally recommend that website for moms that have younger kids it does have other levels of uh, children there but i have not used the older levels but at least for younger kids it has so many adorable arts uh lessons for uh, younger kids and just great and then the lessons are there for you it tells you how to teach them and it's so perfect and it's free so it's kinderart.com i'm also going to link everything that i talk about in my description down below so that you don't have to worry about it so another fun thing that we have discovered this year has been a, a few um, YouTube channels. Um, and this, one of them I owe to my friend Jessica from the Wall Dog Way. Hi Jessica, if you're watching. <laughs> um, in one of her curriculums that I'm doing this year, she had mentioned Art for Kids Hub, which is a very popular drawing YouTube channel here. I did not know about it until I saw it in her curriculum. And ever since then, we have been obsessed. Just drawing and drawing and drawing. I share a lot of my Instagram of all our art, uh, of all our, <laughs> our fun projects. But if you don't know about kids, um, Art for Kids Hub, it's so much fun. This is some of the stuff that I've done with my kiddos. And it's just so fun, just different characters. They're all in a different um, playlist that he has. But it's a father and his children. It's family oriented it's so cute you guys this my son did JL I'm so happy that he did he did a bunch of he did a bunch of food in one paper how cute is this I love it so um art for kids hub totally recommend it and we have been filling up a folder let me just show you <laughs> this folder is getting full with all our drawings we've been loving it and right there on my wall you see drawings too so we had just been going at it um another thing that I want to share with you is that you have to make art accessible too. You have to make art fun and it's just uh, something to use your creativity um, and to sp well, spark creativity 
to enjoy and use fine motor skills it shouldn't be stressful so one thing i do want to tell you is to always have maybe clipboard so that your child can grab a piece of paper and his uh, pencils or uh, markers and draw wherever he is and also have an art caddy so this is something that just started happening because of that um youtube channel because we were just like drawing drawing, drawing and i said i need to make this accessible i can't just be going up and down the stairs so we created this little art caddy and i found this a long time ago to be honest i was using this for paper plates and utensils when i would entertain people now it's become my art caddy <laughs> so i have my markers here we have different markers we have um our glue and our uh, scissors some pencils and then we have our ch uh, chalk pastels um yeah oil pastels and then we have more crayons over here um this is for jj because he loves painting with watercolors and then we have extra paper here and i also have my curriculum here my art curriculum here so it all fits in here beautifully just like that and it stays on my kitchen table so i am making art accessible so it can happen whenever and it could be easy for us and we enjoy it so that's one tip that I can give you guys too when it comes to art, make it accessible. And like I said, that's one website that I can share with you. And there's an, a few more that I want to share with you. Another one that we have used and love has been Muffalo Potato, which is a YouTube uh, uh, channel here as well. And my son, JL, um, was talking to one of his buddies that recommended it. And he loved it. He was doing this on his own in the beginning. He just loves it. It's very cutesy. It's funny. Um, so definitely check that out as well. And then another um, YouTube mom channel had contacted me and told me to check out her channel. Her name is um, Art with Trista. That well, Art with Trista. That's her channel. I was gonna say that. Come. <laughs> so that's her channel, and she's awesome too. She has such great uh, projects that you can do, and certain ways to cut paper, and and just different uh, ways of to do art. So that's another one that I can recommend to you. And then I thought that I could also add some channels in my description box below of friends or people that I admire that have done videos about art so that you can have plenty to look at and uh, plenty of inspiration that will help you decide what le what direction you want to go with art. Um, one of them is from Christy Clover. She has shared this last year. She has a how to do art for homeschool and she has a great um, channel as well even though she doesn't do a lot of videos uh, lately, but her video on art was great, so I'm gonna link it down below. Um, and then if I have any other mamas that I follow that have done art videos, I'm gonna link it down below. But there's so much inspiration to use to make, to find your direction when it comes to art. But really, art is meant to be fun, it's meant to be creative, it's not meant to be stressful. So you're, if you're stressing with art, I hope that this video has come to you at the right time and that is helpful and that you find ways to make art accessible in your home so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one